Well, we're still practicing. Uh, this screencast concerns itself with the use substitution portion of our practice time. So I'll show us what we should have done here. Um, it appears that things in parentheses make for good use. And because this was the first question of its kind, oh, look, this happens to be right there. So the undersquiggled thing is du. The thing in parentheses is just u. There are no limits to change. So this integral has the same answer that this integral does. So we do this integral because it's easier. The antiderivative of u to the fourth is one-fifth u to the fifth. And then they didn't give us the question in terms of u. They gave it to us in terms of x. And we're done. In a similar way. The derivative of this thing is hanging out up there, basically. Right? Basically. We're looking for this, and we come oh so close. So what do we do about that? Well, we throw a 2 there. But you can't throw a 2 there because it breaks all the rules of algebra, so you compensate. And now we start replacing things. The 2x dx, that's here, gets replaced with du. There's no more 2x in a numerator. The x squared plus 3, that gets replaced by u. There's a 1 half because we compensated. And then when x is 2, what's u? And when x is 5, what's u? And we do this integral because it's easier than that integral. Antiderivative of 1 over u, sub, sub, and subtract. Sub, sub, and subtract. Well, wait a minute. That's a minus sign between two loggy things, which means that we divide those numbers, right? 28 divided by 7. And wait a minute, that's a 1 half, which means that 1 half used to live up here. And I know what 4 to the 1 half is. That's the square root of 4. Yeah, that's the answer I was supposed to get. Yeah, that's the answer I was supposed to get. So this question depends on your knowing the fundamental theorem of calculus, but then you're also knowing the properties of logs. So it makes it a great question to put on a final exam uh, because there's so much here that you need to know. Whenever we find an average value of a function, we take an integral of the function and divide it by the length of the interval. That's how we find the average value of a function. We take the integral and divide by the length of the interval. Uh, this fraction happens to be 2 over pi. Uh, and we're going from 0 to pi over 2 sine of 2x dx. Uh, things in parentheses make for really good use. Oh man, we're so close. Well, let's just pull that too. Let's just use that. The 2dx gets replaced by du. Sine of 2x is just sine of u. It's not a 2 over pi anymore, it's a 1 over pi. And the integral from 0 to pi. So what's that? Antiderivative of cosine u, sub, sub, and subtract. Substitute, negative cosine of pi, substitute, 
negative cosine of zero and subtract. And we're done. Uh, one more quickie before we go. Let's go orange. That sounds fun. So what's happening here? So I imagine that's what's happening here. And we're not sure about this, right? Because where's the three? Where's the three? Well, we'll just kind of squeeze it in there and compensate. So this is one third times the integral of, well, f of 3x is f of u, 3dx is du from here to here. But this is this. Right? And that turns out to be, and we got it. So hopefully that is helpful to you as you're practicing U substitution. Office hours are available to help you further. Hope you take advantage of it. See you soon.